I'm with Captain Nerola yeah. and First Officer Lama. We just flew back from Lukla after being stuck for a couple of days there. Captain Nerola, you were standing by all day yesterday as well, right? Yeah, due weather. The pre monsoon is uh, starting now in Nepal. And it's high elevation, narrow valley. Yeah. So we were stranded here whole day, and the, today was the first flight. We're coming with you now. So, and now departure is uh, high level, arrival is closed also. And we just got the news that uh, Lukla again open, let's see, we might go again. So it's very, it's, it's what we've learned is it's ex extremely weather. unpredictable. The weather changes hour by hour. Right now, we're, uh, the flight just landed, but the airport closed and it just opened back up again. Uh, Captain, I noticed when we were taking off, we were very close to the, to the mountains. Uh, yeah. how, how far are we from the mountains? Less than a half mile. And you have to be visual all the time to make ground contact, just to make sure that if in case something happens, you can turn around. And it's a visual flight anyway. So the mountains are very close. They are, some of them are half mile, some of them are uh, one mile. Wow, so, so very close, half a mile, one mile from the... Like we could see how close the mountain was. So uh, visibility needs to be, what, five, five kilometers or...? That was five kilometers. Five kilometers, wow, amazing. Yeah. Uh, how long have you been flying for uh, Tara? Uh, for 24 years. 24 years. And how, how many hours do you have on... Do you, have, do you fly Dornier or do you fly Twin Otter or both? Now, as per the regulation, we can maintain only one rating. Okay. But I used to fly different airplanes too. Uh, now I'm flying Dornier. The total hours I have is 18,000. 18,000 hours, that's amazing. 18, well, you, you, guys are, yeah. you guys are real heroes, honestly, to fly in and out there. Thank that you. is not easy. Thank you. First of Lama, yeah. how long have you been with Terra Air? One and a half years. Just started. Yeah. So you, you really need Captain Norella to, to yeah. guide you here. Yeah. A first officer has to be with a senior captain, I would imagine, right? Yeah. For, for a certain amount of time before they could fly in and out. Is that correct? When you start flying a particular jazz for a stall remote area, to become a captain, at least it takes seven, eight years. So you have to learn, learn, fly, you know, you know and then uh, with the experience and the, pre the regulation we have, it takes about eight years. Eight years. Eight years to clear the look like. So about eight years to become, to a be captain. a captain. Captain for the look like effort. About, approximately. Eight years. That's amazing. How do you get yourself ready every day for a flight like this? First of all, it's you don't know if you're going to leave or not leave. I mean, it's very, it's, you have to be mentally, really mentally ready every day. Yeah. You know, the company has a standard operating uh, procedure. So we just follow the procedure. It's a very simple. The weather provided by the car, plus we have our own camera. And, you know, the team, we calculate threat and error management on ground before we depart. And we, we follow our standard operating procedure. There's a camera on the ground where? Uh, at the dispatch room we have. I see. So we can check the Lukla weather. So you can check. We get from tower also, so we cross check. When we confirm, then we go. I've seen some of the other aircraft take off towards the end of the runway, but we've took off a little bit earlier. I saw the Let 410 yeah. takes off almost the whole runway. These aircraft seem to be taking off a little bit earlier. Yeah. How do you figure this out? Yeah, we have the standard weight uh, as per the regulation for male, female, foreigner, and the local people, different weight and the cargo, uh, the luggage you have available. So we have certain limit for takeoff. We follow that. But for the length of runway, they're taking, depending on, uh, they're using intersection or they're using the full length. And uh, some airplane, how much power you have in, uh, in your engine also depends. This is a quite proven airplane for short takeoff and landing, same as uh, the Twin Edward too. But the lead, they recently started this uh, stall operation in Nepal, so they might be a little heavier to take longer on that. Lukla is one of the most extreme airports in the world. How do you mentally prepare yourself and teach pilots on this? Yeah, we have two different types of jobs. We call like pilot flying and pilot monitoring. So we have totally two different jobs, but basically both looking after safety. And we have during takeoff roll also, we have the sudden speed that we can reject if something happens, otherwise we have to continue. And there's very little room for error near yeah, when you yeah. fly. So you guys do a great job. <laughs> Thank you so much, Captain. Captain very much. I appreciate it. Thank you.